Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Christmas, winter holiday, uh, celebrated in many different places around the world. And we're going to talk about some of the stuff that we use when we decorate for Christmas. So today I've got this little Christmas tree. Uh, it's sort of a funny looking tree, but that's one of the, the fun things about Christmas trees is that you never really know what you're going to get. Nowadays, lots of Christmas trees are, are fake. You know, this one's made out of plastic and some wire. Um, but, you know, my favorite kind of Christmas tree is a real Christmas tree. That's what I buy uh, at my house every year is a real Christmas tree. And then, you know, your house has a really nice smell to it because it smells like a, a fir tree, uh, which is what these are supposed to look like. So this is supposed to look like a type of a tree called a fir tree. It's a little bit crazy, right? Bringing a tree into your house, it's a little bit strange. But let me uh, explain a little bit about uh, maybe, you know, how this started. And you can start to understand, ah, okay, I see why people are bringing a tree in their house. So a long time ago, about 2,000 years ago, people started uh, using this type of tree, a fir tree or an evergreen tree, uh, as decorations. And they had different reasons for doing that. Um, so some people would put them, would bring um, evergreen tree or fir tree branches into their house uh, during the winter solstice. The winter solstice means uh, the time when uh, the day is the shortest. You know, all day long during summer, uh, day, there's a lot of daylight. You know, the day lasts a long time and the night is short. And in winter time, the days get shorter, the nights get longer. And winter solstice is the uh, basically the shortest day of the year, right? So that's the day with the least amount of sunshine. And so uh, people back then they believed that there was a sun god, and they had to they would want to make the sun god happy. And they would want to remember the sun god. So what they would do is they would bring uh, these sort of evergreen uh, trees and branches into their houses uh, to, to remember that um, the sun will come back again, right? Because evergreen trees are special because they don't uh, lose their needles or their leaves. They stay green all year, all year round, which is why they're called evergreen, right? Always green. Uh, so they would bring them into their house to remember, ah, don't worry, the sun is going to come back again, um, even, in, even in the middle of winter time. So a lot of people uh, in, in other countries, um, and other places around the world had sort of other similar reasons, you know, like I said, evergreen trees are green all year round. And so uh, for some people, uh, they would use them to remember the harvest, a time when we'll eventually we'll be able to grow food again, you know. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so it became kind of a nice tradition to bring it in. Uh, and uh, now uh, we mostly think about them for hol the holiday of Christmas, right? Which we bring in, you know, we maybe we put a little Christmas tree in our house. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about some things that we can do. Then we're gonna sort of decorate, uh, decorate this Christmas tree and make it look a little bit nice. So, all right, first things first, uh, I've got these Christmas lights. Now, uh, this is funny because this is a really small tree, right? A really tiny little tree, uh, but these Christmas lights are really long. Uh, but, our learning tree studio is not that big. So if I brought a huge Christmas tree in here, it would be pretty tricky. There'd be no space for me. So now why do we put Christmas lights? These little lights, let me turn these on and we can see what it looks like. So these are little glowing lights. So some people believed that the reason we first started putting uh, lights in trees and a long time ago it was candles, which is a little bit crazy because trees can catch on fire and burn, but people will put little candles all around them and light them on light the little candles on fire, and then I guess you hope that your tree doesn't catch on fire. But uh, some people say that the first people who put uh, lights, little candles in a tree, uh, were the Germans, a long, long time ago in the country of Germany. Um, and the story goes that there was a man, and he was walking home, and he saw um, beautiful uh, stars shining in the sky, uh, and he was in the forest, so he could see, you know, he was looking at the trees, and behind the trees there were lots of uh, beautiful lights sparkling in the sky and he thought I want to show that image I want to show that picture to my family and so what he did was he put little candles in his tree to show them kind of like the little starlight so we can kind of uh, put some of these around here it's gonna look a little funny I think because this tree is so small but that's okay let's just put a couple of these sort of twirl them around there we go just like that that looks pretty nice. We'll let the rest of them come down here. Maybe we can actually put them around the bottom. That might look a little nicer. And then maybe I won't accidentally knock it off the table. All right. There we go. So 
So we've got our nice Christmas tree. We can see our little lights in here. So remember, uh, you can think of those as like the little stars in the sky in the forest that you might see. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Don't you think so? All right, so now, uh, of course, we can put some other decorations. Nowadays, we put lots of ornaments on the Christmas tree, and everybody's family has a little bit different ornaments. Uh, you know, you, the ornaments that you've collected over the years, usually things that, things that you like and things you want to remember. Um, you know, one year, I went to Hawaii with my family, uh, and when we were in Hawaii, we bought a uh, glass um, Christmas ornament ball, and it had pictures of, um, you know, like turtles and fish that somebody had painted around it. Uh, and we hang it up, we always hang it up in, on, on uh, our Christmas tree. And then when I look at that ornament, I remember, ah, that was our trip to Hawaii. That was a really nice trip. So, okay, I got some ornaments here that we can put on this tree. Some different ornaments here. Let's see what we've got. Here's a little snowman, right? Uh, now, Christmas and is always, a, you know, a, well, in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, like in Japan, it's a winter holiday. If you're in Australia, it's a summer holiday, right? So they're not going to have any snowmen in Australia. But in the northern hemisphere, the northern half of the of the uh, Earth, um, like you know the United States and Japan, um, England, uh, you know it's it's always winter time, and so people, you know, a lot of times around Christmas, you'll see people making uh, snowmen or having snowball fights. So I think that's a nice ornament. Let's hang, let's hang this snowman right over here, so we can remember our uh, our sort of winter fun. There we go. I'm gonna put him in the back because I got a lot of ornaments to hang on this tree. Here's an important guy during this this time of the year. Do you know who this is? Santa Claus, right? Santa is a guy who comes around on Christmas Eve and brings toys to the kids who uh, were good throughout the year, right? The story is he's watching you all year long. He's trying to see if you're doing your best, trying your best in school and being a nice, uh, being nice with your family, helping out, doing your chores, and then if you are. Brings you a present. Okay, let's hang Santa up here. There we go. Put Santa there on that side. All right, now, let's see here. This one is a nice uh, ball ornament. A lot of times, this is a, a very type, a very common type of shape, this sort of round ball. Now, usually, maybe if you had a Christmas tree at your house, they might be some big, a big ball like that. But, you know, this is a tiny tree, so I think we better put just a tiny, a tiny little one right here. Let's put this one. How about right here? In the, in the front. Yeah, I'll put, put it a little bit higher. There we go. Let's see what else we've got. I thought this was a nice one. This looks like a little candy, right? Like a little red candy wrapper. A lot of times during the uh, holiday season, we have a lot of um, sweets. You know, we share cookies and, and cakes. And in Japan, you know, Christmas cake is a big thing. Um, but yeah, so sweets are a big part of the Christmas holiday. Uh, let's hang this sweet. Uh, how about uh, how about over here? This is a nice spot. Let's put it over there. That's pretty good. Here's another Santa. I liked this one. We already have one Santa on this tree, but I don't think you can have too much Santa for Christmas. So uh, here's a Santa. Do you know what this thing that he's riding in is? Do you know what this is called? Santa has a uh, doesn't have a car. It's not a submarine. It's not a helicopter. But it does fly. It's called, uh, do you know what it is? It's a sleigh. It's called a sleigh. Santa's sleigh. And he uses it. He's pulled by the little reindeer. And they fly all around the world bringing the toys, the presents to the, the good boys and girls. Let's put Santa. We don't want to put him too close, right? When you're decorating a Christmas tree, you want to kind of spread the ornaments out. Uh, and if you've got some that are kind of the same, like a Santa, Maybe we don't want to put Santa right next to Santa, right? So maybe we should put this Santa kind of on this other side over here. There we go. That way people on that side of the, of the uh, tree can see that Santa. Here's another sleigh. Look at this one. This is a nice one. It's got, uh, it doesn't have a Santa in this one, uh, but it does have uh, some toys inside, right? Because Santa's using his sleigh to deliver toys. I see a little bear, a little toy bear and a, a little gift that's wrapped up here. Um, I don't know what this is in the back. Maybe that's supposed to be a Christmas tree, just sparkly. Usually Christmas ornaments have a lot of uh, sparkly glitter on them. It makes them look really nice. Let's see, what, where can we put this one? How about uh, up here on this side right there? We wanna kinda spread them around. You don't wanna put all the ornaments in the front. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't look nice when you walk around. One last ornament, this one's huge. This is probably too big for this little tree, but 
it'll be funny for us to put it on anyway. So here is a giant type of sweet. Usually they're red and white. This one's just red, but do you know what this candy is called? I gave you a clue, actually. The word starts with candy. Candy something. Maybe you can see like a, kind of looks like something that an old person uses to walk around, right? To help them walk. It's a candy cane, a candy cane. And usually they're white and red and they taste like peppermint. Although sometimes they taste like fruit or even chocolate or something. There can be many, many different flavors. But my favorite are always the peppermint ones because I feel like that's the, the real candy cane. And this one's nice because it's got a nice sparkly bow on the front of it. That looks really nice. Now this is a big ornament to put on this tree, but that's all right. I'm going to hang it. Oh, we already got something there. We already got something there. I'm going to hang it. Let's see. I'll put it right up here on this and we'll hang it right there in the front in the middle. There we go. Look at that tree. It's looking really, really nice. All right. Now I've got one more thing that we can use to make this, to finish our little decoration uh, here. You know, if you had this at your house, just to make it look a little nicer. And I got this, this, uh, this stuff here. You've probably seen this material before. It comes like a long rope, a long string, but it's not for tying things up, right? It's not a scarf. You could wear it like a scarf. It'd be a very fancy scarf, but no. This is called tinsel. Tinsel is this very sparkly, glittery stuff, and we use it to decorate our houses during Christmas. There's many, many different colors of tinsel, uh, green and white and blue and uh, really any color you can imagine. Uh, but I got this one because I think, you know, uh, usually at Christmas time, the two colors that we, we uh, use the most are red and green. We already had this nice green tree, so I thought, let's use some red tinsel. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to lay it around the bottom here. This will look nice and it'll hide our batteries for the, for the lights. There we go. Here we go. How about that? All right. So now we've got kind of a nice little Christmas decoration here. If this was your house, you could have this up. When you come home from school, you can turn your lights on uh, and you know, you could turn them off in the morning or anytime you want to look at them, keep them on. Uh, and it'll be really nice if you turn off the lights in your house, you'll see just a little bit of glow, a little bit of light from these, uh, from these Christmas lights. And you can uh, and remember that they, they were supposed to look like the stars a little bit. Right? So I hope you have a lot of fun decorating a Christmas tree at your house or really anything. You could use a Christmas wreath. You could decorate a, anything you'd like. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have to be a tree. But remember, the important thing is finding things that you like that uh, remind you of this time and this season. Uh, you know, they might be things that you that remind you of your family or uh, that remind you of your friends. Things that when you see them, uh, makes you happy and it makes you, uh, you know, think about all the people that you care about. So, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, about decorating a Christmas tree and learning a little bit about uh, Christmas trees and where they came from and why we bring them into our house. Uh, and I hope you have fun at your house too. All right. Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.